Hello everyone. Uh, I'm making this video really late at night and I don't want to wake up my neighbors so uh, I'm going to try to um, boost up the volume. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. I'm making this video uh, because well kind of in response to a Stardust video on the decline of content or innovative content in the manosphere uh, particularly uh, men going their own way. Let me just give you a, a bit of a backstory for the newer listeners that weren't here uh, during that time or weren't subscribed to this channel or possibly didn't even know about men going their own way during that time. Uh, when I found uh, men going their own way, when I first came on the scene, and I'm arguably, arguably uh, one of the first uh, men going their own way uh, to, to radically change, first off, the definition of men going their own way from its original definition, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, but when I found uh, MGTOW, it was kind of a, this obscure offshoot of the men's rights movement, uh, not very well known. I mean, it had, it had its following or whatever, but it wasn't uh, comparable in size or scope to the men's rights movement, and it was kind of this uh, obscure... Uh, offshoot of it. Then came uh, people like myself and people like Stardusk. And uh, I'm going to talk about my uh, personal experience with uh, MGTOW and how it looked before I came on the scene and how it looked after I came on the scene. Uh, MGTOW was essentially, uh, like I just said, uh, an obscure portion of the men's rights movement and was generally a relic kind of forgotten about its creators. Now, the people who, uh, quote, created MGTOW, the, the quote, founders of MGTOW, and I say this because uh, the MGTOW that they were espousing was uh, not exactly uh, what MGTOW is today. And MGTOW certainly is something. I know that we say that, you know, MGTOW is whatever it means to you. And to a degree it is. But we certainly wouldn't say that a male feminist is a MGTOW, right? I mean, we have a certain uh, rough idea of generally uh, what a MGTOW is and what MGTOW is about. Uh, it generally revolves around not allowing society to dictate to you what your masculinity is or isn't. So there are certain things that we, we generally uh, see as representative of MGTOW. Uh, no matter how much we won't admit it, no matter how much we say that, you know, it's, it's whatever it means to you, uh, there are exceptions to that. But the original MGTOW founders were... Uh, Basically, uh, well, they, they, they jotted down in some manifesto uh, what MGTOW was to them, uh, to the originators of the term, uh, not so much the originators of what MGTOW is today, but the originators of the term, at least. I'll give credit where it's due. And they had some manifesto posted uh, that essentially read like a traditionalist creed. It was talking all sorts of nonsense about... <coughs> excuse me, uh, reinstilling masculine and feminine values uh, in, in men and women, uh, which is, of course, you know, people, uh, the state, women, men, trying to impose and enforce a form of masculinity and femininity on both men and women. That's a, a big portion of what got us in the mess we're in in the first place. So, you know, it, it essentially read like a traditionalist creed, um, and really wasn't representative of what Min Big Tao is today. People like myself came on the scene, and people like Stardust came on the scene, and we radically shifted that in a time where uh, the manosphere was uh, uh, almost obsessively uh, talking about feminism and affixing uh, all the problems men face to the you know the grand evil of feminism, and and, and you had the other portion of the manosphere which was just obsessed with uh, politics and and uh, you know right left and all that nonsense and you had your egalitarians who never wanted to say anything extreme and uh, you know of course they want to benefit off the uh, hard work and the innovation that so-called extremists like myself and Stardust and uh, many others uh, uh, they wanted to benefit off that innovation they wanted to benefit off the popularity our channels were receiving but they never wanted to say anything extreme because you see uh, in this world that we're living in uh, extremism is the grand sin. Nobody can ever be extreme. No, nobody can ever be radical. And that's how radical problems are never dealt with. Because everybody's too scared to be labeled extreme. And, you know, so you had your egalitarians. You had your uh, people who obsessed over politics. Uh, right, left, right, left. You had 
you know, uh, uh, people who obsessed over feminism and thought that it was the root cause of all the problems that men are facing when in fact it's just a symptom. Um, that was the, the stagnation that was uh, present in the manosphere at the time and, and still present to varying degrees now. But people like myself and Stardust, we took men going their own way in a completely different direction. We provided the innovation of thought, uh, the, the, the innovation of ideas that led to something completely different that had never been seen before in the manosphere. Uh, we took men going their own way and essentially breathed life into it and, and made it and sculpted it into something completely different uh, than what it was originally intended for. And so, no, I don't think uh, the MGTOW of the, quote, founders of MGTOW uh, bears any resemblance to what MGTOW has evolved into today. And I think, uh, and, and this isn't bragging here, I don't have to brag. I mean, you can go back uh, to my 100 plus videos and see the passion, see the, the, uh, the innovation and the intelligence that came through my videos uh, that, that changed MGTOW forever. So I don't have to brag. I mean, go back into my videos, rewatch them, and tell me they weren't groundbreaking, and tell me they weren't innovative. And the same can be said for Stardust and 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 Man Woman Myth and people like Girl Writes What. Uh, you know, I don't have to brag. I was part of what was essentially a golden age of masculine thought, a, a renaissance of masculine thought that occurred uh, primarily on on the YouTube uh, portion of the manosphere. <clears throat> Not to say there weren't others outside of that, but that's that's what it looks like from where I'm, I was viewing it. Um, there was a point where, uh, <laughs> you know, after, after a day's work, I would go straight to my computer just to see if Man, Woman, Myth or or um, uh, Stardust or, or Girl Writes What in her earlier uh, videos uh, had uploaded a video. And it was exciting, right? And to the issue of stagnation, well, I'm not going to call out any names. The people know who they are, who are doing this. <clears throat> it's almost as if we've gotten lazy, right? I, I needed a break from the manosphere, and so I stepped back. Uh, for the first time, I suffered, uh, uh, I guess, what you could call burnout. I mean, I needed to be away from the manosphere. It just, it got overwhelming. It didn't feel, it, it, it got revolting after a while. I had to take a step back. And uh, so I was silent for a little while, and that was by design, and... I think now coming back to the manosphere, uh, it's going to be in a much less uh, interactive way. I mean, I'm not going to bother uh, with you know hour-long uh, discussions in the comment section. Uh, I'm, I don't even know if I want to answer uh, comments back. I just want to I just want to focus on putting out content. Um, and unfortunately, because people are half-assing it, uh, I'm going to have to sh essentially come back in. And show people how it's done, uh, because I will not allow MGTOW to be half-assed. And no, I'm not some authority figure on MGTOW, none of that. But I just can't allow it to be half-assed. So if you're one of these people that are half-assing it and just kind of putting out these lazy videos, remember that there were people that came before you, uh, people like myself, people like Stardust, that put in the passion and the energy. Uh, and, and the dedication that it took to create some of the best videos uh, that have ever been produced by the minds of, of, of people in the MGTOW uh, sphere, if you will. We didn't half-ass it, and, and, and we demand that others do not. Now again, that's going to sound, I guess, you know, uh, arrogant, but I paid my dues. I mean, I paid my dues. Look at my videos, look at the body of my work, Look at what I've accomplished. Look at the subscribers, right? I paid my dues. So I put in the work. So this is somebody who put in the work before I'm saying this. There's a huge, huge, huge body of work on my YouTube channel that you can draw upon to see that I put in the passion, the time, and the energy. And if I did it, then everybody else can do it too. And we shouldn't be half-assing MGTOW. That's all I got to say. It's not about making enemies. It's not about calling people out. It's just don't half-ass it, man. Just don't do it. That's all I got to say.